Hello and welcome to Fintech Focus TV. My name's Ian Bailey and I'm joined today by Katerina Rabava from Tata Consultancy Services. Hi Katerina. Hi Ian, yeah. thank you for having me. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure. Um, Katerina, please introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm Katrina Rababa and uh, I'm one of the leaders uh, in Tata Consultancy Services uh, where we help accelerate growth uh, in marketing mm -hmm. and also strengthen our brand. Very good. So Tata Consultancy Services and we are uh, a global IT services consulting and business solutions organizations. Uh, we believe innovation and collective knowledge can transform all our futures with greater purpose. Katrina, you, you were on stage today. Um, what, were you, uh, what were you talking about? Oh, great question, Ian. The whole conference is really enlightening and really, yeah. really insightful. So I moderated uh, a panel of uh, great experts who were sharing uh, some practical tips and tools, mm -hmm. uh, including AI, uh, and we deep dive into content strategy mm -hmm. and how AI can actually maximize the effectiveness of your content. Saying that, uh, one of the key takeaways from our panel was, you know, don't look at AI something separate. Enable it. AI is a technology and it's always an enabler. So have your strategy first. Mm -hmm. So know what you want to achieve, who you want to tra target, and uh, and then you know what side of what type of content needs to be created for that. Yeah, I think a, f a few people and a few conversations I've had today is, you know, there's a danger of when talking about AI of having technology for technology's sake, and it's actually remembering that it's it's for humans and then to, to help make life better and and, uh, and to improve things. So. The, Great stuff. We're obviously at a, you know, the, the marketing um, uh, event today. In your opinion, how will marketing be a, a driver for a brighter future in fintech? Um, I think it will be totally vital, and that's because marketing nowadays drives growth and innovation. So post-COVID marketing um, is no longer just a coloring department, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's becoming really a growth driver, but for that to work, and this is what we've heard from the conference today, mm -hmm. and this is what I truly believe and try to integrate and do in any company I work for, is to enable sales and marketing collaboration mm -hmm. uh, in a proper way. So then <clears throat> brand reputation and purpose, customer experience play really key roles in, in the way customer chooses a provider. So taking an experiential approach that resonates with what customers really care about helps deepen relationship with them. Take our study consultancy services. Uh, for instance, with our long-term marathon sponsorships, as you know, everyone may know, the campaigns around these events are designed to humanize technology through visual experiential storytelling. And a really good example is our partnerships that we've made with New York uh, City Marathoner, mm -hmm. uh, where the digital twin of her heart was created. And as a result of leveraging twin technology, machine learning and AI, the marathoner was able to transform her training considerably. Mm -hmm. So what the team did is we then created a hologram of her heart that was actually ex showcased at the race expos um, before the marathons yeah. all over the world. The campaign has um, different type of content that are relevant to not only the runners but also the people who want to be inspired to be a runner and we also connect technology passion and um, and the future of sports really so with that um, coming back to my two points uh, yes marketing plays a very strategic role in uh, fintech and actually tech future mm -hmm. so yeah that's yeah, like fascinating. And, and look, a subject that I know is close to your heart as well, the inclusion. Um, to, talk to us about you know, the role that marketing plays in, in helping and driving inclusion, not just in the workplace, but in, in wider society. 
Yes, you're completely right. As someone deeply passionate about diversity, equity and inclusion and who has led projects in this space over 10 years, I believe that marketing plays a pivotal role in actually fostering inclusion, both within a workspace and across the society. So first of all, if we talk about brand and purpose, a strong brand is vital for success and marketing is really shaping how clients perceived in the market. It's no longer enough just to have a purpose for a company, it's really important to leave that purpose and demonstrate how you do it. So for years and years, I have advocated in many companies for marketing to collaborate with diversity, equity, and inclusion and CSR teams because the initiatives that we create together um, develop purposeful client engagement opportunities and helps develop the communities that create social impact. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, TCS Good Growth is an external platform that empowers women entrepreneurs to connect, collaborate and grow. And through events like this, women entrepreneurs can learn from experiencing executives that we bring in due to our uh, network and also they can network with their peers and collaborate together. So and as a company, we contribute tech and innovation expertise to evolving startup ecosystem and helping build a stronger UK and beyond. And for, that was for our sales folks, it's another mm -hmm. hook to yeah. uh, build and create relationship with a customer in non-commercial manner. Yeah, very good. And um, secondly, marketing is actually a great place to be. I tell you, because a lot of people here would agree with you. Yeah, yeah, because we sit in an intersection between product, sales, HR, CFO, and in order for us to be successful, we have to really collaborate and foster those relationships to of get buy-in. You know, we sell every day, internally and externally. So <laughs> I'm sure you uh, you get that. So to be effective, we need to embrace different perspectives, and that's why um, we are fostering and. Um, embracing different perspectives, backgrounds, and uh, diversity and inclusion key, plays key roles here because it actually informs our strategies in a better way. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, like what we heard today, um, we sell to humans, right? Internally or externally. Yes. And the more perspectives you have, the better your outcome it, of course. it is. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Katarina, thank you so much for, for taking the time to come and speak with us. Like, you know, generally great to hear from, you know, someone in an organization such as TCS. You mentioned a couple of websites again. How will people find you? How do people reach out, hear more? If you want to know more about the campaign or about TCS and what we do, um, follow us on LinkedIn X. Uh, we also have an Instagram account where you mm -hmm. can see some uh, some of the snippets of the campaign that I mentioned, um, as well as TCS.com has all the thought leadership case studies and all this amazing technology showcases that uh, we provide and help clients grow. Wonderful. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. <laughs>